Hey everybody, welcome back to Score Center. As always, I'll be going through my AFL tips, my super coach, the top 10 highest selling Aussie sports cards on eBay. We've got another highlight to open. We've got some more mail. We'll be checking out the hits of the week and I have a huge tray to unveil. But before that excitement, let's jump into my AFL tips. So before we get into round 17 tips, let's first have a look at how I went last round and I did get five tips correct for round 16 and we kicked things off with one of the shocks of the round with the Suns downing the Tigers by 10 points. That was, a, as an impartial observer, a really exciting game to watch but clearly not the result that the Tigers would have hoped for but yeah I don't think many people would have tipped that result uh, Geelong over Essendon another surprise result with the Giants defeating Melbourne uh, Melbourne ha seemed to be having this habit uh, of going down against teams that they really should uh, be so yes interesting interesting Melbourne I still think they are one of the one of the strongest teams uh, of the year but uh, then we have Brisbane very comfortably over the Crows uh, the Blues that's two wins in a row for them so well done uh, defeating Fremantle by uh, 16 points uh, we had Port Adelaide uh, winning over Hawthorne Sydney, Sydney just absolutely demolishing a, um, I think I described the West Coast as lacklustre uh, last week, but that's uh, taking things to new lows. That's, I'm sure uh, they would be very, very disappointed with that result. Um, and I'm sure they will come out uh, much stronger uh, this week, uh, ready to put that behind them. Uh, Collingwood turned up to play in the final quarter, uh, but that wasn't enough to uh, win against St Kilda. Uh, so we've been playing quite uh, disappointingly in the last few weeks. Uh, so if we could play more like that fourth quarter, that would be very good. Congratulations to St Kilda for that win. And the Bulldogs over North Melbourne. Okie dokie, so let's jump into this week's Tips and Round 17 kicks off tonight with Port Adelaide taking on Melbourne. And look, I think Melbourne is going to bounce back after their loss. I think Melbourne seemed to perform worse against uh, lesser opposition. Uh, they seem to playing better teams brings out the best in them. So I think Melbourne will bounce back but I think it will be a close one let's say seven points uh, I think Adelaide should do that look like Essendon, Essendon should be able to do that although the, the Crows it's hard to predict what the Crows are gonna do uh, although I just heard that uh, Tex Walker is out so that is a big blow for the Crows uh, my gut is saying Frio there's no reasoning for that other than gut feeling and I'm just trying to Go with my gut more. Uh, Geelong, Geelong. This should be a good game, I think. Uh, we'll have Harry Mackay, the Coleman leader, taking on Tomahawk, who uh, we are trying to win the Coleman because we did get the Geelong Coleman predictor. So I'm I'm putting uh, all of my support behind Tomahawk because uh, that would be absolutely mind blowing to get that. But apparently, this is the fourth time that Carlton and Geelong have taken on each other at the MCG in the last 20 years, which is just crazy. Uh, Brisbane should uh, do that. And Giant Suns, this should be a good game, but I feel comfortable backing the Giants. The Bulldogs should do that. <sighs> Look, both teams have not been playing very well lately. But I'm going to back Richmond just because I feel like whenever I tip against Collingwood, they win. So I'm doing my bit for the team. Uh, and also, I'm in the elbow off the top tipping competition and most there's a lot of Richmond supporters. So it's a little bit tactical. It's a bit, it's a bit tactical for a few reasons. But I've backed the Pies in the last two weeks and uh, you know how that's gone. So... I feel like if I tip against them, that might spur them on to prove me wrong. So 
Uh, look, either way, either the pies win or I get a tip right. So happy town either way. And ooh, ooh, I'm almost tempted to go for North Melbourne. I'm almost tempted to go for North Melbourne. But I just think West Coast was so ashamed of that performance that they're going to come back. But North Melbourne weren't bad against the Bulldogs. Cool. I am so tempted. I am so tempted. Oh, my heart is racing. Do I pull the trigger on the punt? Oh, come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm flaking out. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, oh, look, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's make this fun. It's the last game of the round. Let's do it. Monday, let's save North Melbourne win. Oh, yeah. Okay, so for round 16, the Pack Smashers scored 1,961 points, putting us in the top 48. I was disappointed with that. I was hoping we would do better than that. Well, the Supercoach website is not working for me, which is a lot of fun, but I don't think there was much news to report. So we'll come back next week and hopefully the Gremlins have resolved themselves. It's that time of the week where we go through the eBay top 10 and we kick things off with a Patrick Cripps 24 karat gold craft card and the uh, the other members of the band looking absolutely schmick. That's $600. And then joining him for another 600 is the Buddy set. Absolutely awesome. Then we have a uh, Captain Blood from Brilliance, last year's Brilliance release, a Jack Dyer card, number 10 of 50. These look awesome, and that sold for $750. Then we uh, had for $800 a single 1963 Scanlon's Rugby League card of Dud Beatty. Well, for $800, I wouldn't call that a dud. Oh man, I'm here all week. Uh, then, for something under 900, we had from last year's Dominance release, that is the uh, Captain's Signature. That's the Nat 5 card. I love these signature cards. Unfortunately, we weren't lucky enough to pick up one in our Dominance boxes. Uh, but that was number 12 of 50. Really, really nice. Uh, then, coming up next, we had a full set of the 1982 Scanlon's Rugby League cards uh, that sold for something under 950. Uh, coming up next, we had from this year's Prestige a Brody Grundy marquee numbered 5 of 40. Uh, the uh, selling price was 1050, uh, but the seller took best offer on that. Then, uh, you'll have to use your imagination on this. Uh, but it was uh, Scott Pendlebury Brilliance, number 32 or 50, sold for something under 1300. Unfortunately, there's no pictures there, but we have we've we've seen those a few times. Uh, so use your imagination. And then we've we've seen quite a few of these as well. Uh, the absolutely awesome dusty gold craft card, as well as the uh, the others that sold for 1,200. And seventy-five dollars. Then oh, this is so yummy. I absolutely love this. Patch cards are very common in a lot of American sports, but it's not something you see a lot of in AFL. But this was so. This was from 2019's Supremacy release. This is the Superstar Signature Patch. Of course, Cogs, Stephen Canelio of the Giants. This was numbered three of 25. And look at that. That is, I just, I love the look of this. Absolutely awesome. Uh, and that sold for something under 1600. That's just got me salivating for Supremacy coming later this year. I wonder what Select have cooked up. 
I am so pumped for that release. That's a beautiful, beautiful card. And then in first spot, this has to be one of my favorite, favorite uh, lots that I've seen uh, this whole year, selling for $2,650. This is the full set, the full 36 card set of 1957 Corny's mascot football cards. Corny's the cereal. You got your footy card in your box of cereal, and this is what you got. These, let's have a closer look at these, because this is just, I'm in heaven. Look at that, look, that's a 21 year old Ron Barassi, looking very suave. Look at these designs. These are so cool. You've got the kangaroos. Ah, these are just beautiful. Is it absolutely beautiful? The designs are sublime. And that's the backs of the cards. Just imagine getting that in your box of cereal. Do I don't think they do that anymore. I don't think you get... I, I certainly don't get any uh, cards in my wheat bix. That's the cats. Look at that. I love these. The color, the, the design. We've got the Bulldogs. Look at that, a very young looking uh, Ted Whitten. That's just incredible. And then look at this, look at this. We've got the Fitzroy Gorillas. Now, Fitzroy were known as the Gorillas from 1938 to 1957. And so these cards came out in 57. So this is probably one of, if not the last, uh, football cards that described Fitzroy as the Gorillas. But that, oh, check that out for a bit of footy history. And then look how sick these planes look. These dive bombers look absolutely sick i love these designs of these so much this is so cool and then we have the pies look at that and the blues and we've got of course south melbourne the south melbourne swans We've got the Saints with their halos and their wings. These are so cute. I love these. They kind of, the designs sort of remind me of those, uh, of course, those sort of 50 era um, Hanna-Barbera cartoons, that sort of design. And then of course we have the Tigers. Look at that, I love, it looks like he's, he's dancing. He's kicking the goal, but. I, the, these are just absolutely spectacular. What an absolutely gorgeous piece of footy history, VFL history. Uh, all 36 cards selling for 2,650. That just, that's so wholesome and makes me so happy to look at those. Uh, what an incredible, incredible piece of history. And I, I vaguely remember Corny's as well. So uh, what an awesome nostalgia trip. Now it's time to check in with the Coleman medal tally and Harry Mackay has added more daylight between him and the rest of the pack. He managed three goals against Frio in that win for the Blues. He is sitting comfortably at the top of the ladder with 46 goals for the year. Tex managed only one against Brisbane. He is on 41 goals. And we have three players uh, all very, very close. We've got Josh Bruce on 39. He kicked two against the Roos. Ben King had a big game uh, in that uh, massive win for the Suns against the Tigers. He kicked four goals in that win uh, to bring his tally to 38 goals. And most excitingly for us, Tomahawk booted six goals against the Bombers to bring his tally to 37, which is super awesome. Jack Rewalt 
uh, is on 35, Aaron Norton 33. For the uh, other Coleman predictor players that we're following, uh, Charlie Cameron managed three goals against the Crows to bring his tally to 30, and uh, Jeremy Cameron uh, booted three goals as well against Essendon. He's on 28, but has injured his hamstring again. So he's going to be out for at least a month. So that's pretty much his Coleman run done. So all of our Coleman predictor hope now rests entirely on those big shoulders of Tomahawk. We've got some very exciting rounds coming up to see if he can possibly, possibly catch Harry. As always, it's that time once again to open up the latest select highlights and Nap Rising Star cards in their new baby blue pouches. We do like the uh, the change. Change is always a good thing, I think. Now let's uh, pull open this tape. Let's see how sticky it is. Because last time we had a not sticky and a sticky. Oh, that's sticky. That's like, I'm going to say that's like a 7.5. Of stickiness rating it's pretty sticky okay so what cards do we have coming this week and there you go we've got Gary Rowan uh, who uh, had that massive goal uh, to win the game against the Bulldogs that was huge for him that was a big big uh, goal and I did actually put Gary Rowan in the thumbnail for the score center before that game. So I like to take a little bit of credit for that. Thanks, Gary. And then our NAB Rising star was Harrison Jones from the Bombers. Another Bombers NAB Rising star. So as always, let's go and check what numbers we have got. And let's see again if there's more NAB Rising star cards bought than the uh, highlight. Because we've been seeing recently that more people are buying the NAB Rising star than the highlight. So let's first check out what number we've got for Gary Rowan. And we've got 162. 162. I felt like we were getting similar numbers last week. Uh, but that's 162 of 228. So Harrison has got... Uh, 228 to beat. Let's check out what we've got. Oh, wow. Yes, he's uh, quite, quite beaten that. In fact, we were just one shy of 228, but that's 227 of 357. That is uh, more than 100 more. So, ho -ho. the uh, the Nav Rising Star cards are becoming very, very popular. Wow. Well, now it's time to check out the hits of the week. And on Saturday morning, we opened up a bunch of loose packs that I picked up of Team Coach from my news agent and awaiting us were these two green star powers, which was just absolutely mind blowing to not only just get one star power, but to pick up two. But we weren't done with the big hits. On Sunday morning, we had our July 4th special where we celebrated American sports cards. And we opened up our very first NBA cards on the channel. And out of a value pack of Don Russ basketball, which cost me like $25, we were so lucky enough to pick up this LaMelo Ball rated rookie green and yellow laser card. I said it at the time and I still feel it. It's one of the nicest looking cards I've ever seen in my life. So a couple of these cards have already sold on eBay for around one to $200. And the ones that are still up available for sale are around 400. So what a slam dunk for our first NBA opening on the channel. That was just incredible. So it's that time of the week for Scorey's mailbag and let's open up more awesome trades. I've got, we've got the double planes, the uh, F-35s. I love those. This is from Jackie. Thank you, Jackie, for this awesome trade. Now, let's put this open and, oh, is it a sandwich bag? Oh, I do like my sandwich bags and, Pull this open. I'm 
that's all very nicely packed. And let's pull this off. Oh, oh, this is very exciting. Very, very exciting. Okie dokie. Now, okay. So, we kick things off with, the, oh, I think there might be, is there, oh, look at that. We've got a Tom Mitchell card craft number two. We were, if you watched my uh, Team Coach Binder update, you would have seen we needed the middle Tom Mitchell. So we will be able to add him in there. Very, very cool. We've got our Dusty Martin star powers. We've got Joel Salwood captain card. Oh, we've got Will Day gold card. And we've got a Quadzilla Glitz. And now these are um, footy stars. So we've got, so we've had our team coach. Now we've got some footy stars with a Curtis Taylor hollow foil. We've got Liam Duggan hollow foil. Oh, Luke Parker, uh, Starburst. Just lighting things up with his smile. And Neville Jetta. <laughs> I love that. I did the Starburst, they're so cool. I really like them a lot. And we've got a Tom Lynch uh, acetate. And I can see on the, the they are see-through, so I can see the Melbourne logo. So if we turn this around, we're gonna get Nathan Jones, the uh, Demon's Heart Nut. And then we've got a milestone. I do love the milestones very much. It is the uh, Tom Hickey. Uh, Tom Hickey's 100th game uh so he's uh had a he's he's played for the saints he's played for gold coast i'm pretty sure as well um but yeah i think the eagles is his third team but yeah so he's reached a hundred goal a hundred goals a hundred games uh back in round one that round that had no uh spectators and no pretend crowd noise on the TV. So it was just completely silent except for being able to hear all the players, which was very surreal. So a very cool card to add to my milestone collection. So thank you so much, Jackie, for those awesome cards. Now, next up we have, this is from Tyson. So thank you so much, Tyson. Let's open up this, so. Some more cardboard. I can start a cardboard collection. Oh, okie dokie. Wow. Here we go. We were just talking about uh, completing uh, team card craft sets. Wow. So here we go. We've got Rory Sloan too. That's the uh, only Rory Sloan that we need. So now we've just completed our Adelaide card crafts. And then if I turn this over, remember in the binder update, I said that we only needed one Pendlebury card craft. Oh, there you go. We've got number one, Pendle's action shot. So now we have the three common card crafts. So that's very, very cool. And this will be very, very important in, in a moment. So I've got something big to reveal. So this is going to be very, very important in something big I'm about to reveal. So thank you so much, Tyson, for that, for helping play your part in uh, something huge about to come up on the channel. But absolutely love both of these cards. I do love the card crafts and I love being able to complete my uh, collection, Get, getting closer to completing uh, the card crafts. Now, our final mail today is from Tyler. So thank you so much, Tyler, for sending this. Let's see what we have received. And, oh, that doesn't look familiar at all. <gasps> if you watch the Binder update, you will remember I said that there was two card craft, uh, not card crafts, what am I saying? Two odd pods that I didn't have either version of. I think we might. That doesn't look familiar at all. I think this is a newie. Oh, it's Captain Coaster, Jared Witz. Oh, look at that. I've never seen this card before. This is so cool. Look at that. He is uh, Captain Coaster, the the 
the, the superhero of the Suns. And you've got a, a very uh, aggressive looking uh, muscle man son in the background who's doing a bit of sandcastle building, which, you know, that's what you would do on the Gold Coast. Oh, that is so cool. I love that. That is awesome. Then, oh, and this was the other one. We haven't seen this before. Look at that. It's high for just flying Ryan. But I, I'm happy to say hi, Flying Ryan. Luke Ryan, that's the Glitz Frio that we don't have. So these were the last odd bods that I had not seen before. So that is absolutely awesome. Oh, thank you so much, Tyler, for getting me closer to completing the odd bods collection. That is very, very cool. Look at him soaring. He's just flying out of the stadium. That is so awesome. Oh, and then we've got, so here we go. We've got a Sam Walsh glow, Sam Sational, looking very, very cool. And then we've got the Nat 5, Nat 5 star powers. So thank you so much for your awesome trades and I hope you love your new cards. Now there is one trade that I have left to reveal. And this is the biggest trade. It's fair to say the biggest trade I've done in my life. So I organized this trade with somebody called Nick. Nick, you are an absolute legend, an absolute God among mortals. This is, well, let's open it up and see what we have. Now you might've noticed on the binder update I didn't show off the Jack Steel card craft because I don't have the Jack Steel card craft anymore. That's because I traded it for this. Look at that! It is the Scott Pendlebury Gold card craft. I can't believe. I'm holding it. This is absolutely amazing. I can't tell you how happy this makes me. Thank you so much, Nick. I can't thank you enough for this. So let's take my two Pendles card crafts, Tyson's card craft and Nick's gold, and you know where we're going. Okie dokie, let's do this. I am so pumped. Let's now. How do we do this? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, let me, this is going to be like the most entertaining video you've ever watched. Watching somebody pipe. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Awesome, awesome. So that's, that was uh, Tyson. That was Tyson's card. Thank you so much, Tyson, for that. Now, let me just click on that. I feel like I should have like some sort of 90s hacker movie music playing um i feel like i should be like wearing like uh, dark sunglasses uh, that's what uh called by hacker people do okay so that's activated now this is the last common one a g4x one oh level turned green and then we've got this final one so i have scratched off the code Unhook properly and oh let's click it oh we've successfully activated and look at that look at that claim your prize Okay, so now I have to pop my uh, personal information in. So obviously I am going to cut to after that. Congratulations. Your prize card is on the way. <laughs> your delivery details have been successfully entered and please allow 28 days to receive your 24 karat gold plated prize card. 
I, it would have been nice if they allowed 24 days just to keep it keep it on theme, keep it on brand. But when we did our Jack Steel, that came in like a week. It was like seven days. So hopefully next Score Center we will have a beautiful package from Team Coach to unbox. Well, there you go. Stay tuned, hopefully next week, for the unveiling. Hopefully it comes. The Jack Steel came in about a week, so fingers crossed we uh, get our 24 karat pendles in the mail very soon. So thanks so much, Tyson, for helping me complete my base pendle set. And thank you a million times to Nick for this absolutely mind-blowing trade. I will treasure this card for the rest of my life. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Score Center. As always, look out for new videos on Saturday and Sunday morning, and I'll be doing my Footy Stars binder update on Tuesday. Enjoy the footy this week. Until next time, stay cool, stay awesome. My name is Dave, this is Scorecard Collectibles, and I can't wait for you to join me next time.